This morning in your money, it is all about tax season with exactly two months to go, believe it or not, until the April 5th filing deadline. We have everything that you need to know to make sure that you're all squared away with Uncle Sam this year. This is information I really need. MSNBC and NBC News Now anchor Allison Moore has previously covered business news for CNBC and the Wall Street Journal. Allison, good morning. Hi, guys. So good to see you. I'm so excited to be here with you on weekend today. So this We're going to is... call this a personal <laughs> tutorial. I've heard, for me. I've heard Peter needs some help. Yes. I definitely do. Too. <laughs> I need some help as well. Um, I get very stressed out by taxis. I can't believe do. it's two months away. What should we be doing right Right now to make sure we're prepared so the most basic thing you should do right now get yourself organized right and by that I mean get all of your documents together so you're probably thinking what kind of paperwork and documents yeah. do I need w2s though those those are those forms that your employers send you they let you know how much you've made over the last year how much you've already paid in taxes any other compensation that you might have gotten pull that if you're a freelance worker or a gig worker you probably got a 1099 very similar kind of thing it lets you know what work you've been paid for over the past year grab that you've probably also gotten a lot of letters maybe emails that say important tax information enclosed right. yeah. related to your mortgage investments you have uh, charitable contributions you might have made in 2019 get all of that throw it in a file or a folder and have it whether you're gonna do your taxes yourself or get professional help. So when do you hire a professional yeah. and when is it okay to do it for yourself? A lot of people always try to come down to the wire and make that decision at the last minute. Yeah, last minute, not a good idea, but you should put yourself in one of two categories. Either my taxes are simple or my taxes are more complicated. And what do I mean by that? If you are single, you do not have children, you don't have a lot of real estate, you don't have your own business, you don't have a lot of complex investments, your tax returns might be more simple and you can probably file those yourself. If you are a more complex situation, say you had a life-changing event in the last yeah. year, you were divorced, you got married, you do have a lot of property, you do have a lot of investments, you might want to get professional help. One thing, though, I want to warn people, that does not have to be expensive. Mm. You do not have to pay thousands of dollars to get a professional to do your taxes. For mm. starters, yeah. anyone who you might be thinking about working with, they will take a preliminary phone call for free. So call them. See if it's a good fit. Don't pay anything just to kind of test the waters there. Yeah, I mean, when I was first entering the working world, mom and dad was my CPA. So there you go. Everyone. My parents are CPAs, so yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's, still, that's still a they good way to go. Are My dad actually yes, is a CPA, exactly. so yeah. Got the street cred. Yeah, everyone's always looking for the deductibles, though. How can you make sure you lower the hit you're going to take? Whether you've missed last year, how do you do it for next year? What should you be thinking about? So a couple of things. Most things that you need to do to lower your 2019 tax bill, you needed to do in 2019. Mm. But there are a couple of things that you can still do now. One of the biggest ways that you can lower that bill has to do with your retirement, but I'm talking about specific groups here. So if you get a traditional 401k from your employer, this is not for you. But say you are self-employed or you don't get that traditional 401k and you have what's called an IRA, if you have not maxed that out already, you can continue contributing to your IRA until April 15th of this year and it will still go towards uh, reducing your tax bill from 2019. Also, if you have a high deductible health insurance plan and if you are one of these people, you definitely know it, you contribute to a health savings account, mm. you can keep putting money in that health savings account until April of this year, April 15th of this year it will still help you for 2019. I feel like these days you get bombarded with emails and mailers with some tax offer of some kind. You never know which one is a scam and which one's legit. How do you stay vigilant? So this is an issue that we deal with every year because people fall for these scams all of the time. Just to let you know, the IRS, they're not going to text you. They are not going to email you. They are not going to reach out to you on social media. So if you're getting communication like that, it's probably a scam. Also, the IRS is not going to threaten you. They're not going to take away your driver's license, threaten to take away your social security number, uh, revoke your immigration status. They're not going to arrest you. They're also not going to ask you usually for your social security number. The IRS knows who you are. They have that information. They're also pretty old school. They like to communicate by snail mail. So if you're getting some strange communications that just seem a little bit off, don't respond. Don't click on those attachments. Good message for seniors as much as anybody who they often prey on this Indeed. time of year. Allison, thank you Unfortunately, so much. Great yes, point. Thank you guys. Fantastic information. I feel a little bit less stressed out You think out it's going to be okay this I think year? it's going to be okay. I'm here for you for the 15th. <laughs> Great information. Thanks, Allison. And you can see Allison 24-7 on NBC News Now on any streaming device.